Hey y'all, welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy and I'm the keeper of the home here at 4D Farms, where we are all about faith, family, home, and farm, and in that order. And we're kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. So y'all just come on in, grab a seat, take a look, and have a listen, cause you don't wanna miss a thing. Well, howdy, y'all. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> y'all, we are in our next place. And let me tell y'all, I could not be more relieved. Y'all, I think, you remember I told y'all in the last video that I was going to get some time off from cooking because in the next place that we were at, I wasn't going to have a kitchen. Y'all, I actually thought that I was going to get to bring my table upstairs and um, set up my kitchen in that, in a little area in that room. I didn't get to. We did not have the room, y'all. And I'm like, oh. So, Dear, let me grab me a chair. Dear hubby was like, you know what? Just take some time off of cooking. Oh, I did, honey. I did. I enjoyed my time off of not cooking. But let me tell y'all what happened. I probably gained 10 pounds. You heard that right. I probably gained 10 pounds from taking off time of cooking. Y'all, I like going out to eat. I do. I appreciate restaurants serving the communities. I do. But I don't like eating out all the time. And I never thought I would say that. I, I never, th because you know, sometimes I get home and I get to cooking so much. I'm like, you know what? I would just really like to enjoy somebody else's cooking for a change. I just like to go, I, I would like for us to go out to eat. And we will do that occasionally, but not all the time. And so now I had the opportunity to take off all this time and not cook. And then I'm like, <sighs> I don't know what it is, y'all, about eating out back to back. I mean, like I said, breakfast was provided every morning, complimentary breakfast. Okay. Hubby could grab breakfast every morning on his way out. That was fine. He did. I ate breakfast every morning. And then I would just like kind of snack during the day like cheese and crackers or peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't eat lunch really. And like um, my trail mix, okay? And then nighttime, we would find somewhere every night something to eat. Y'all, some things were just glorious. Oh, yes. <laughs> we found a really nice place that we went out on date night one night. And, oh, yeah, it was really nice. Nice sit-down restaurant. I got to dress up. And, yeah, really nice sit-down restaurant. And then the other nights, like during the week and stuff, you know, we would just pick a place and he would tell me what he would want. We'd look at their menu uh, online, you know. He would pick out what we want and I'd go pick it up. And oh, y'all, oh, oh, geese. <laughs> Some, um, uh, oh my gosh, stuffed pizzas. I was in cheese, ow, I was in cheese heaven. We are going to have to try this when we get home. I'm not, I kid you not. I kid you not. We will have to try this when we get home. That's going to be the one of the first things I try when we get home is this stuffed pizza. I'm not even going to tell you how they do it. We're just going to try it when we get home and it's going to be done in a cast iron skillet. It was to die for, okay? But so many nights eating out back to back to back to back to back. Oh my gosh, y'all, I think I gained 10 pounds. Because there was one day I put on some blue jeans when it was getting a little oochy out here. And I'm like, uh, what the heck is happening? <laughs> they were a little snuggish. Okay, so I'm like, okay. So now we are, and and I just, I couldn't bring my table up here, or up there. I and I'm I can't even make room for everything because we would just be walking on each other, you know. And he's like, we're not switching rooms. 
just take some time off and let's just enjoy this time of not cooking, you not having to worry about all this stuff. I mean, he was really trying to be sweet, you know, and giving me some time off. But when we got here, or even like, I think the day was getting ready to leave or the night before we were getting ready to leave, he said, you know what? He said, I'm ready to get back to your cooking. <laughs> he must really enjoy my cooking. Oh, he's like, I'm ready to get back to just normalcy and your cooking. And I'm like, you know what? I am too because now I got to get rid of this probably 8 to 10 pounds I have gained at that place. I kid y'all not. <laughs> I got I, this little mouse has got to trim it down some. I feel like um, the mouse on Cinderella. You know the little, the little chubbyish one. You know that one. That's what I feel like. Okay. So we're going to slim down just a little. Oh my gosh. So with that being said, I got to show y'all something. I like our new room. Oh, I got to get out of this chair, y'all. Oh, whoo, y'all. I'm not kidding. That's kind of done a number on the joints. I have got to show y'all something I'm so excited about. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Because I'm going to show it to you anyway. So here it goes. Oh, I'm so ready for this, y'all. Do y'all see that? I get, y'all, this is the first hotel we've been in that has had a oven in it. And for eye burner, a regular stove and oven. This is the first place we've ever been in. Besides, uh, I mean like a hotel. This is the first hotel we've ever been in that has an oven. Y'all, it's already got some dishes in it. I got me a cookie sheet in there. And I've got, oh, they need to clean that baby out. Um, I've got like a broiler pan. And I've got some of these, y'all, that I can play with. Oh, y'all, I'm going to be having fun. I got four eye burners up here. Big microwave, y'all. Big microwave. I'm a little short, y'all, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. I got a big refrigerator this time. I've got a bigger space. Y'all should have seen the little refrigerator at that last place. Y'all, we couldn't even put... Um, here's my here's my freezer anyway. I've, we've already went and bought some groceries. I'll get to that in a minute. And then we've got some groceries. Oh, my little leftover milkshake. I'm gonna have to drink that right there. Get in my belly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to finish that. <laughs> okay, so we've already went and got a few things. But y'all, I got a bigger refrigerator. I've even, y'all, I want y'all to get a load of this closet. Hold on, I'm gonna open the doors. Now this is also like a, Close it, cl cl close closet. There's like a, maybe that light works when it wants to. See, it works when it wants to. I'm not going to bother nobody to come fix it. I can deal with it. I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. I'm in a bigger room. There's like one in here and there's one in there. But I have like, kind of like turned this into a pantry closet, y'all. Look at this. It's a clothes closet, but I'm turning it into a pantry closet. I got snacky snackies. <laughs> and then I've got, we've done got some dibble dabble things right here, y'all. I'm not kidding. I'm turning this into a pantry closet. I've brought my kitchen box in, y'all. We got all of our, and my kitchen stuff just had to stay in my truck the whole time we were at that other hotel because I really thought I could bring it inside and set it up, but y'all, we would have had no room. We would have been crammed, and I'm like, this ain't going to work. So then he was like, you know what, just, just take a vacation. Just take a vacation, and I did, and I appreciate that, but... I'm ready to get back in the swing of things, y'all. I have missed cooking, but I, you know what? Some women would probably never, ever say that, but I do. I, it's, it's, it's in my blood, I guess. I don't know, but I'm loving this, y'all. I got this big old pantry closet. I got this oven that I get to play around with some more stuff, y'all. Some things that I couldn't do in the other place because I didn't have an oven. All I had was my air fryer, but y'all use what you have. I got my kitchen box out of the truck and I haven't unpacked it yet. I'm not really gonna unpack it, but my Instant Pot and my air fryer is in there. And there's like little knick-knacky stuff like all my utensils and stuff. So I'm probably going to put them over here in this closet. 
I still have some unpacking to do and setting up to do, and that's what I'm doing today because we just got here yesterday. Ooh, <laughs> I'm gonna slide across the floor. We just got here yesterday, and uh, we he got off work. They let him go early. We traveled to get to this place, and we're a little closer to home now, y'all. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> we're a little closer to home. Uh, still a long drive, though, but we're about an hour closer to home than what we were at the other place. So, uh, this place, um, we got here yesterday, and then we just, we got in, we just took a little nap. I mean, I didn't get hardly get any sleep the night before. I don't know why. Yeah, I do know why. It's a place that we ate at, that I ate at that night before because i told him i was like i'm gonna be loading up my truck getting stuff down to my truck doing you know doing last minute stuff you stop and get you something on the way back to the hotel i'll just walk right across here and i'll i'll just go get me a burger or something i did and i was nauseous all day at night it, I, it kept me up that night. I was nauseous that next morning. I couldn't even eat breakfast. And then I, I think all the eating out finally just caught up to me. And, and I just, yeah, I just started getting nauseous. And then I was like, you know what? I don't want anything. I think I'm just going to have like a little, a little teeny tiny bowl of cereal. And that's it. And then on the way out here, I, I just grabbed a little bit of trail mix. There's geese everywhere, y'all. I just got a little bit of trail mix, and and um, that was it. I wasn't hungry. So we got here, and we were just so exhausted, y'all. We, we took a little nappy-nappy. <laughs> we did. He's like, come lay down with me. I'm tired. Let's just take a nappy-nappy. Geese. I'm going to show y'all these geese. Do y'all see them flying in V form? Do y'all see them? Look at that. Y'all, there's geese everywhere. There is like cornfields everywhere we go. There's cornfields everywhere out here, y'all. All these farms. There went another pack. Y'all see them? Y'all, they just flew right over. So there's two. I sat here this morning, y'all, and watched the biggest hawk or falcon sweep down in this cornfield. And it, it, it was after something, probably like a mouse or something. I don't guess it caught it. And it flew back up into a tree way over there. And he was just waiting for that little mouse to come back out. Yeah, I like it. This window opens, y'all. It's a very big window. I love it. And it's, it's, I can open it and get some, when it starts getting a little cool, you know, open it up, get some fresh air. Y'all, we were on the fourth floor in the other hotel, and I guess they don't want people to, there goes some more, y'all. Look at there. There goes some more. That's three flocks that have flew over already. All these farmers out here harvested corn yesterday. It was a corn harvesting day yesterday. Every field that we drove by, oh, they got left behind. <laughs> Every field that we drove by yesterday, y'all, they were harvesting the corn. And that's what the geese are after this morning is some of the leftover giblets that's left in the, in the crops. So, yeah, just tractors, there, combines everywhere yesterday. So... Um, and it, oh my gosh, it's getting cold out here, y'all. So I don't know when y'all are going to see this video, but at this moment, it's beginning to turn chilly and cold. <gasps> yes. So I, I don't know when this video will go up, y'all. Y'all, I will record things. And then there's sometimes I hang on to things. I'll just give y'all a little, a little clip, a little uh, sneak peek or whatever tip secret of some things that's going to be coming up i record i'll anytime something is in my mind i'm grabbing my camera and i'm recording right then because y'all if i don't i'm gonna forget it now i may not upload it right then i may not upload it the next day or even the next week so some videos there's no telling when those things were recorded i'm just gonna tell you because i'll make videos and then I'm like, okay, God, when 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 does somebody need to see this? When do I need to let this one go? When When's the best time? Okay, y'all, I have two series right now that has been recorded. 
they're a long series. I think y'all are going to like them. But I'm sitting on them. And I'm... Because I'm, I'm I want the Lord to tell me, okay, now it's time. Now it's time to do that. That's just how I do things, y'all. Because I'm like, if it don't feel right in my soul, I don't do it. And then, and then I'll do it when it feels right. And I'm like, when, when do I need to start these? When do I need to start this series? When do I need to publish this? When does that person maybe need to see this? Can it help somebody in the season of their life they're going through? Something. So I have two series, y'all, that I am just sitting on right now. Okay? And I'm just waiting on that give slap from the Lord to say, okay, it's time. Go ahead. You got to give me the green light, to give me the go ahead. Okay? So yeah. If I don't already have them going before you see this video, it's it's timing, y'all. It's timing. It's timing. I'm one of these that's like time-oriented, um, in order. Sometimes I can be spontaneous. Sometimes I'll do a video and I'll chunk it in because I'm like, oh, they need that right now. And I'll just chunk it in there, okay? Like I like some of them I have been doing, and and I'll just chunk it in there, and and uh, depends on the season, um, you know, like the video where I was telling you how to start getting your gardens ready using the fall and winter time to prep your garden, and I was in the middle of the the another hotel series, okay, and I had to just chunk that one in there because I'm like, oh. It's time. It's time to do that now. They need to hear this now, okay? So, I'm, sometimes I'll chunk one in between something. Sometimes I'll sit on it for a little bit and think about it. When's the right time? And like I said, if it don't feel right, I, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on until it feels right, okay? So, just know I got some good things coming up. I do. I got some good things coming up. And I, I needed to make it through the holidays, y'all, because I wanted to be stress-free during the holidays and not have to worry about, I got to get a video up. I got to do the video, okay? I wanted to enjoy my holidays. I needed to make, I need, and I needed to make it through the holidays so I could enjoy stress-free time with my family, okay? And I'm sure y'all wanted to do the same thing, okay? So, yeah, but they will be coming up. I'm also doing something else, y'all, and I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. I just want you to just help me pray about it, that I can figure all this out, get over my nervousness, <laughs> because, y'all, this is something I've been wanting to do ever since I started my blog, and I've had my blog for 18 years. Our youngest son was two or three when I started our blog. And that's how old it is. This was before YouTube even came about. And I'm like, I was a writer first. Just, just journaling, writing. And there's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I just didn't know how to do it. Didn't know how to get started. And now, to, oh, good grief. One, two, three flocks. Whoo, three flocks. They came from that direction. They surprised me. They came from over here. Anyway, something I've been wanting to do. Now, technology has has newer things have come about newer ways of doing things and i'm like lord is it getting time can i try this and little by little he's leading me in those directions that i need to go taking me down those steps it's a slow process i'm like can we speed it up just a little yeah, okay can we can we just kind of like knock this out of the ballpark and get it to going but 
he's holding me back for a reason and he's making me take my time for a reason. I believe in Ecclesiastes, y'all, for everything there is a season. And I'm waiting on that. I'm waiting on my season. I'm learning. I, I'm learning how to do some things. I'm getting things prepared. I just need to know the next step. And little by little, he's bringing me those steps. So I'm not going to tell you in case something happens. And that way I won't get disappointed. Um, Y'all just pray, pray. Help me pray about it. You know, you know, Lord, whatever she's wanting to do, just give her the knowledge, give her the wisdom, give her the timing, let her know when it's not, whatever. Y'all just help me pray for that. And and I, I know my mama, I, y'all, my mama's a prayer warrior. I can tell her anything, and she just immediately right then, she, she prays. I, I lean on my mama a lot, and especially when them boys, y'all, were young. <laughs> my mama heard more rants out of me. Oh, and like, wow, you know, when my boys were younger than she did when I was a teenager. She, <laughs> and she helped me pray, y'all. My mama is a prayer warrior. So, I'm like, mama, you know, just, just help me pray. There's something I want to do. And I just, um, um, I, it's a slow go. And I, and I, and I want to go gung-ho, but yet I'm nervous. And then again, I feel like the Lord's kind of just holding me back. That it's beginning to be that season. It's just a slow go. And maybe when he gives me the green light, I'll have all the knowledge and the wisdom that I need to bring it about. And I know he will. He'll bring me what I need. And I, I, I can't wait. Because I'm like, God, you know, they can be using this now. Come on. But... It's got, the timing's got to be right, y'all. Just like I said, if it don't feel right in my soul, I'm going to hold off. And I just just trust me, there's some things coming. If the Lord willing and the creek don't rise and, and the rapture don't happen before then, I've got some things coming, okay? I do. I've got some things coming. I'm working on some things. And I'd like to incorporate some help, maybe from my daughter-in-laws. But they're going to have to learn some things too. So I might mix them in, you know, and, and we, we do some things together. We'll see. Y'all just... Help me pray about it. That's all I'm going to ask you, and that's all I'm going to tell you. So, with all that being said, that's just like a little look of what's coming up, okay? Now, let's get into today's video. Y'all, we got here yesterday. We took a little nappy-nappy because we needed one, and we got up, and we hey, the hubby's like, you know what? Let's just pick up some things for quick meals this week to just kind of like get us back into normalcy get us back on schedule he said i know you're tired i'm tired we got to get used to this area and you know just get back on a schedule and he said let's just run to walmart right quick and let's just get because we had to go to walmart because this is a king suite, y'all, but it has a queen-size bed. Imagine that. Now, we can sleep on a queen-size bed. He's like, oh, you get to be closer to me. Goody, goody. He likes that. <laughs> but, y'all, I like my space. <laughs> I like my space when I'm sleeping. I'm like, <sighs> okay, and I got legs everywhere. My granddaughters get it from me. We got legs everywhere. We got arms everywhere. He's just like one of these that curls up in a ball and he stays on his side of the bed. And, and But yet, in the middle of the night, he tries to find me, you know, and scooch over. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I like my space. But we had to go to Walmart because this is a queen bed. And our king mattress topper that we travel with for our backs will not fit on there. It just hangs off the side. And it's wonky. And um, he's like... We got to go find another topper and we're going to have to tough it out until we get home. So we found a topper, queen size topper that will fit this mattress. Y'all, we're just going to have to tough it out. We don't have long hair. We're just going to have to tough it out and just do the best we can. Surprisingly, last night, it was okay. We didn't wake up with our backs all out of whack. And, oh, y'all, his problem is, y'all, with his back. Our oldest son 
uh, I was pregnant with our firstborn son, and he had to have back surgery. He had three discs that just exploded. And when it did, it took pieces of some of his vertebrae with it. They had to dig out little pieces out of his spine and, and yeah, and then create some more discs for him. Okay, had to have that surgery. And I mean, he was, and he's had back problems ever since. And y'all, we were in our 20s. We were in our 20s. We were, I was 26 when I got pregnant with our oldest son. I was 26. So yeah, we were in our 20s. And he's had back problems ever since. My problem is my rheumatoid arthritis. It starts degenerating some of your um, muscle tone and joints, okay? And I have a disc right now in my lower back that it's degenerated. It A quarter of that disc is still there. And the last time we did x-rays, which was last year, it was half. It just keeps degenerating, y'all. I'm beginning not to have a disc in between those two vertebrae. And those two vertebrae are just kind of like sitting on top of each other. And just kind of like rubbing and like bone on bone, chiseling. And it can hurt. It can hurt, okay? And sleeping and stuff like that. It just, I can't move fast. Um, you know, some things I used to could do. Next time I go to my doctor, y'all, and we have some time off of work and we are home for a while, I'm going to have to talk to my doctor and, and see about, there's a surgery now. It's an outpatient surgery where they can go in and it's like a rubber cement that they can squirt back in there and create a sponge disc. And that may solve my problem, y'all. I don't know. It's something I'm going to have to talk to my doctor about because I can't do some things I used to could do. You add that on top of rheumatoid arthritis, y'all, and it's like double trouble, okay? There's just some things I can't do. When we travel and when it's time to travel back home, I have to stop like every maybe hour, hour and a half, two hours at the most, get out, stretch and just it could be troublesome y'all and then it didn't help when I fell off that stool back in the summer y'all because y'all that's still sore that it bone that little bone is still sore in my derriere it's still sore text message I'll, I'll look at it in a minute y'all it's still sore and when I'm, when I, when I, after about an hour and a half, I'm, oh, like right now, y'all, I have to lean up and get off that bone and sit forward, more like on my thighs and sit forward and get off that bone. They've already done an x-ray on that. I had to expose myself <laughs> and have x-rays of my derriere just to make sure that bone was not cracked or hairline fracture or broke or shifted okay it's still just sore that is a bone that takes forever to heal and it's taking its sweet little time when I when I say my butt hurts <laughs> I'm not lying <laughs> I'm not lying because of that one bone y'all and it, it's excruciating sometimes. So, I'm just like, do I need a pillow to sit on or what? I've tried everything, y'all. <clears throat> a lot of times, I'm having to sit on my heating pad to give me some relief on my back and my butt. Okay? <laughs> I'm just, just going to be frank with you. Hey, Frank. I'm just going to be frank with you, okay? I, I have to sit on my heating pad a lot sometimes to, every day. So anyway, and then y'all, that last place we went, I did get to enjoy the jacuzzi. There was a whirlpool jacuzzi down there and then a swimming pool. I would sit in the jacuzzi and just rest my joints 
and just like sitting in a nice warm hot bath, you know, and I would just sit and enjoy and relax my joints because y'all, it's getting colder weather. If you know, any, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, if you don't know anything about rheumatoid arthritis, we know when it's fixing to get cold because we literally feel it in our bones. Y'all, I, I will never make fun of another person again. I used to work with this little older lady and she would always say, I know, I can tell you when it's gonna rain. I can tell you when it's gonna rain because my elbow will be hurt. I can tell you when it's gonna rain. And I was like, hush posh. She was right every stinking time. I should have paid attention. And I was like, you know, when I got diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and I started noticing changes and things like that, I'm like, I will never make fun of another person again because it is literally true. We can feel the slightest fluctuation in the barometric pressure, the weather, we can tell when the pressure drops or it lowers if it's fixing to rain or if it's fixing to turn off cold. I have the worst time in colder weather. Me and winter don't get along. I like fall, I like early spring, but me and winter, we just fight all winter. We cannot get along because it's like warm baths, hot baths, Epsom salt baths. Mm, and I got to enjoy this whirlpool and enjoy and and just kind of like relax my joints. And then if I got too hot with hot flashes, see, I just got it all going on right now. And I'd hop over in the pool and cool off. Whew. And then if I got a little oochie, I'd go back over in the whirlpool. <laughs> it was I was hopping back and forth. Okay. At least I got to enjoy that. I had me a good little break and a good little vacation. So now it's time to get back to normalcy. So Yesterday when we were at Walmart, we picked up that mattress and surprisingly, y'all, it did good. We didn't wake up with our backs hurting this morning. We slept good. We were fine. It's doing pretty good. So I think we're going to survive, okay? And and it's nothing worse than being in Louisiana when we were in a little cottage and they had one of them old-timey box springs mattress that when one of you moves you both go move okay it wasn't like that so i'm like if we can survive that we can survive anything okay so let's just let's knock this out so we can get back home so and then we just hubby was like you know what i'll pick up the stuff for the meals i want you to cook this week all righty then so that was one last thing i had to do so he planned the meals this week and y'all they're gonna be simple meals i've already made them this is just his favorite foods y'all it's just what he wants number one is sloppy joes <laughs> I'll tell you our meals for this week, and I probably won't film them because, y'all, they're his favorite. I've already done them a thousand times. I've already done videos on them, okay? So, it's just his favorite meals. He just want, he, He's like, you know what I want as soon as we get there? That very first meal, I said, Sloppy Joes. He said, you know me, babe. <laughs> so, he loves his sloppy joes, y'all. So I'm just going to do something different this time. I'm going to do sloppy joe patty melts. I'm just going to slap some provolone cheese on it and then toast and just do like patty melts. And I think we forgot to pick up a side to go with those. Um, <clears throat> we forgot to pick up a side. So I think we picked up some eggs. I think I'm going to do some deviled eggs. We got some chips in there. All right, so we're gonna have patty melts, chips, and some deviled eggs tonight. That's it. That's all. That's all the man wants. He is a simple man, y'all. A simple man. Unless he gets home. we're home and he's like, he's the one who does the meats and stuff, and 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 you know he's smoking. You know, like not, not like that, y'all. But <laughs> he can be smoking, y'all. He can still give me butterflies, but. I'm talking about smoking meat, okay? He likes to do hams and, and briskets and and uh, roasts and chickens and stuff like that, you know, and do them on the smoker and stuff. So he's ready to do that when we get home. And I'm ready for him to do that when we get home. Um, 
he's he's simple in everything else okay and uh let's see the next meal he said you know i want some spaghetti his his spaghetti that he likes all it is y'all is it's got some extra it's got mushrooms in it i just saute the mushrooms in with some butter you know sweat them down a little bit and then i'll brown the hamburger meat the sauce, the saccharini sauce, boil the noodles, bam, you got spaghetti. Okay, that's just that's his. Oh no 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 no! I'm we got he likes Italian sausage mixed in with his ground beef. So I do half ground beef, half Italian sausage. We like that extra little bit of flavor. Okay, kind of like you put in lasagna to give it a bump it up a little bit, give it a little extra flavor. We like the half Italian sausage, half hamburger meat. So that's it spaghetti another night then he picked up like some little flank steaks that um <clears throat> i've got something in my throat <clears throat> we picked up some little flank steaks that we're gonna cut in little strips and do fajitas we picked up some peppers and for the sloppy joes but they're also gonna be used in the fajitas or carne asada whichever one he wants we got some tortillas and then a side of refried beans with some mozzarella cheese on top that's it. Three meals, y'all, is what he's picked out. So that's going to give me some easy things to get back into the flow of things. And then I'll get back to doing a meal plan. And then I'll go do the grocery shopping. But y'all, I am not familiar with any of these grocery stores out here. There is an Aldi. But we don't shop at Aldi a lot. Our youngest son does. He loves Aldi. I've never been in there. I don't shop there. My husband's been in there maybe once at, at a store back home. We just, I'll check it out. But some of these other stores, y'all, I don't know. I don't know the names of them. And when I see, like, pictures of the food and stuff, I'm like, what? Is, the names? I have no clue, y'all. It's not like nothing like craft or something like that that we're used to. It's got different names. I have no clue. I may just stick with Walmart, okay? I know Walmart, all right? So that may be where I do my major grocery shop. But there is no Kroger's. As soon as we got out of the southern part, the higher up we went, Kroger's is non-existent out here. There is not a Kroger, okay? I, they probably haven't even heard of Kroger, okay? It must just be a lower region thing. I have no clue, but there is no Kroger's out here. So, and little local chains, I... <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably stick with Walmart, y'all. And then I would, next week, I will get into... He's getting off earlier this, this week. Um... Next week, he'll be, it's like, I'll see you at bedtime, I guess. He's working so late, y'all. So, I will be planning different meals. And, y'all, now that I got an oven, there's some things that I can do here just like I would if I was at home. Now, I still may use my Instapot and I still may use my air fryer. I don't know. But they've got dishes here since it is getting colder weather, y'all. It's soup and chili and stew weather for me, okay? And I told my husband, I said, you better get ready because we're going to have some soups, okay? And he's like, is it going to have chicken? It might. It might. There might be some chicken thrown in there somewhere. <laughs> I said, but I'll be sure to throw you in some beef meals, okay? Just trust me. Uh, a roast or something one night. I've got that big roasting pan down there. I've got my Instant Pot. I can do a roast all at one time, me and y'all. I got a video on that uh, where I have done a roast before. But it's getting colder, and y'all... It, we got to warm these bones up and these joints up. So there's going to be some soups. And I cannot wait, y'all, till we get home to try to do some things with our butternut squash that I have been sitting here on Pinterest just left and right saving pumpkin and butternut squash. Birds going after the corn, too. Oh, that's doves. I got doves out here, too. They're going after the corn. Yeah, they're getting him some little niblets of corn, too. I ain't seen that falcon yet again. But they're going after some corn. Anyway, um, so I cannot wait till I get home to try some things with my pumpkin and try some things with my butternut squash. 
I'm so looking forward to it, y'all. So looking forward to it. So, some more things I got coming up. I got some more canned biscuit videos coming up. I got some more hotel small space cooking, air fryer, instant pot uh, meals coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. Oh, y'all. I got a sweet treat coming up with some canned biscuits. Oh, yes, baby. I'm mostly going to do them for him. I will try them just for the sake of trying them. It may surprise me. I may like them. But he loves these, and I'm going to try them for him and with canned biscuits and mostly let him eat them. And, yeah, I got a bunch of things coming up, y'all. But, y'all, I probably won't do any videos this week of these three meals because, y'all, I've done them. I've already done videos on them. I don't want to repeat them. And, you know, till like, but then next week, I've got some new things that I'm going to try. New things I'm going to make. One of them, I'm going to try to do a chicken. I don't know what it's called. I'll have to find it again. But it's something. Tuscany tortellini soup. We're going to try it, y'all, and get these bones warmed up, okay? Geese everywhere. There's that falcon. He's trying to come back in for a land, and he's seen something. He saw something. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to enjoy nature, and I'm going to do some more unpacking, and probably um, next week we will get to cooking all those meals I'm going to record and get out there for y'all, and... I will see y'all then, y'all. I, I can't. I'm. I'm looking forward to that. That tortellini soup. That's going to be one of my favorites, and then a sweet treat for him. So it won't be a whole week before y'all see the videos. Okay, it's just going to be a week for me that I'm going to take some. I'm going to just do quick meals this week. We just. We were in there last night. We were exhausted, and he's like, "Look." Let's just grab some things that we know that we don't have to make a big shopping list for. We know what's in them. Let's just grab these things enough for the next two or three nights and get out of here. We were so ready to get out of there, y'all. It was a it was a Sunday night and it was crowded. And he's like, I just want to I just want to get out of here. I'm like, I'm with you. Let's just grab and go. Divide and conquer. He grabbed some things. I grabbed some things. And we just threw them in the buggy and we got out of there. So, uh, in the next video, we'll start cooking those things, y'all, and those new things. I am so excited to try them. So, y'all just hold tight. More things are coming.